if you walked through this journey of prayer for the last 21 or really 22 days because I dropped the ball, uh, congratulations. Most people don't even get through a full 21 days with a regular pattern of prayer and devotions. Don't give up. You made it to the end. Give yourself grace for any days you skipped because God's mercies are new every morning. What's the next step in developing? What's your next step in developing a consistent prayer habit? How can you continue to have a lifestyle of prayer? Begin by recognizing where your power will come from. A vitalized prayer life is more extensive than our own ability. So ask God and trust him to give you the best gift. And this gift opens your heart to delight in him. How much more will your father in heaven give you, give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? Scripture says to us, so invite the Holy Spirit in. Let the Holy Spirit guide your prayer life. A vitalized prayer life will have its up and downs, but stay with it. Sometimes it feels like work and other times it feels it's the most joyful activity in the day. Uh, Richard Foster says, we today yearn for a pr- for prayer and hide from prayer. We're attracted to it and we're repelled by it. He goes on to say that real prayer comes not from the gritting of our teeth, but falling in love. One thing that helps me is that every night before bed, I remind myself the most important thing I will do tomorrow is spend time alone with God. Why? Because he is glad to be with me and I'm glad to be with him. We have these things to say to each other. Honestly, this helps me look forward to our time together and then uh, next day. And in the middle of this experience is joy. Like Philippians chapter 4 reads, Rejoice in the Lord. I will say it again. Rejoice. By prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, make your requests known to God. That's the joy of being together. It's the joy that comes from sharing our love with each other. I plan for an enjoyable setting for our time. There's there's a chair that I sit with. I sometimes put soft worship music on. Um, usually I have my Bible, my prayer journal uh, to, to journal and kind of ask the questions, God, what are you saying to me today? And what is my response Set the, set the place. And there's the reality is, is there's no one size fits all when it comes to prayer. But keep praying. And you'll experience a joy that you never thought was possible in this world. God will bless you. Today I want to challenge you to think, what is one habit you can place in your life to maintain that consistent, joy-filled prayer life? And then I encourage you to pray for the strength to start this habit in 2023. Y'all have a blessed day and we'll see y'all Sunday, if not before.